Hi, I'm Lawrence Whippler. For some time now, I've been working on a theory of everything that would unite the fundamental forces. Now, this new theory of everything is based on the magnetic monopole. In this video, I will focus on these monopoles, how these monopoles are able to create a dipole, and how you are able to separate these magnetic monopoles. First, I will begin by showing how a monopole will create a dipole. Now we have a north pole here and a south pole. Now a magnetic monopole is a point-like particle which creates a magnetic field. Now this field is created when north magnetic monopoles move from the south pole of a bar magnet into the north pole. Now, just the opposite occurs for the south magnetic monopole. It moves from the north pole into the south pole of this bar magnet. Now, there are many lines of force in a magnetic dipole. I've only just shown two here. Now, each line of force has a north monopole moving one direction, a south monopole moving in the opposite direction because opposites attract. Now what creates a dipole is when you have north monopoles moving all in the same direction and all the excess monopoles, well these here are all north monopoles, all your excess north monopoles are going to collect on this end and on the south pole, you have excess amount of south magnetic monopoles. Now the reason why you have these excess amounts on these ends is because the lines of force that are moving through the core, which would be this bar magnet, is, is similar to, a, say, a traffic jam on a highway. If you have a busy highway, in this case, you have lines of force moving through this core. You do not have any extra room for these monopoles to pass through this core because you have north and south alternating all the way through this core. The same thing happens on the south pole. There's no room for these excess monopoles to go through the core. So they simply pile up on either end. Now, if you want to separate these monopoles, well, most people may think that if you break this bar magnet in half, you're going to separate the monopoles. Well, no, you won't because the monopoles are still circulating. They'll simply reconnect and make a south pole. And here you're going to have your south magnetic pole. Now to isolate a magnetic monopole, we'll begin with a dipole with a north-south pole. Okay, we all know that you have a surplus amount of north monopoles here and a surplus amount of south magnetic monopoles in this area. Now to separate a monopole, you have to use another uh, monopole, it's opposite. In this case, you have south here and north here. So we will use a coil of wire, which is of course made of atoms. Atoms themselves are magnetic dipoles, which I'll explain at a different time. 
Now, each atom is a dipole with its own north and south monopoles. Now, when you move a bar magnet past a coil of wire, in this case you have south magnetic monopoles, it's going to attract all the north monopoles in this coil of wire, and they're going to collect at one end, which would be right here. The opposite occurs over here. You're going to have south magnetic monopoles collecting at this end. Okay. Now when we recombine these monopoles, make another coil of wire here, you're going to have north monopoles are going to want to attract the south. Now what you have here is actually a north monopole which you can think of as positive electricity, the south monopole is negative electricity. Because that's all electricity is, is north and south monopoles that have been separated. Now when you recombine these, these north monopoles are going to flow in this direction. A south monopole will flow in that direction because opposites attract. Now, monopoles came from a magnetic field. When they're recombined, they will again recreate a magnetic field in this coil of wire. It's quite simple. Now, today's laws of physics tells you that, well, there are electrons and move in an electric field, and so, so on and so forth. Well, that's not the case here. You start with a magnetic field. With this magnetic field, you separate the components that create that magnetic field, which are monopoles, which is what you have here, known as positive and negative electricity. Recombine those monopoles, which came from this magnetic field, and you get a magnetic field. You simply taking it apart, put it back together. This is how electricity is generated. It's also how you separate magnetic monopoles. Well, that's it in a nutshell, how monopoles create a magnetic dipole how they're separated, and when they're combined, again, recreate a magnetic field.